The Urban Gardening Chronicles part two of my overwintering gardening update. So this bucket, the last snowfall that happened early March, I put the snow in here to let it melt, to have some rainwater to give my plants when they come out. This is a scotch bonnet. I don't know if it survived. We'll soon find out. I moved some things around. These are, this is a scotch bonnet. I don't know if it survived, but I'll have to cut it and see. Sweet pepper, I see some life. It's, it's still soft. And if I cut it down, it should be okay. And this one's a bell pepper. It looks like it's still alive. This one is also a bell pepper. It may be alive. The eggplant, I'm going to trim it down to see if there's any life in there. This one is a sweet pepper. It may be alive. And the eggplant back here. And back here, it's kind of dark. So I'm going to, I moved the broccoli out. So I'm going to move these things out more to get more of the gar garage light. These are all bell peppers. And this one's a scotch bonnet. This one looks a bit moldy, but we'll soon find out. I'm going to cut them down and see if any life in there. This one looks like there's some life, the bell pepper. And this one is bell pepper. This one looks the best. It looks like a bit of mold, but it's okay. And this is also a bell pepper. That's definitely still alive. I'll cut off. Seems like this is some mold. So I'm going to put these outside. Not the bell pepper, so it's still a bit too cold for them, but the brassicas are okay. Clips and my canna lilies and calla lilies are in the back of the garage wake up and that's pretty much it so i'm bringing things outside to get sun and fresh air part three coming soon